and we'll get a look here at two weeks have come and gone it's off to week three and we're underway on EA Sports Naheem Hines now out of his end zone and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line so out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And for how good he is throwing the ball, it's his running that makes him so dangerous. He had a couple of touchdowns on the ground in last week's game. So we'll see what they dial up for him for this one. This is second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. To throw his fields. Can't get away. Taken down. Well, certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. And here we go on fourth down. Fields rolling to his right. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a pretty good burst there as he get this across midfield and down to the 46. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So first and 10 now from the 30. That's a jet sweep. The football to Woods. Oh, and this one he may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. A loss of two brings up second and 12. Woods the receiver in motion left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Oh, but he's going to be met behind the line and taken down. And this now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now Ryan Suckup will come on and try the field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. Suckup's kick is good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him, both inside and on the perimeter. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine. And it'll be back to a third and three. Throwing now is Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. And they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They're riding a two-game winning streak into this Thursday nighter. How easy is it when you're on a roll to stay on a roll given the quick turnaround? Well, you would think it'd be pretty easy because everyone's locked in in practice and meetings because everyone feels good about themselves. And for coaches, this is where they have to tell themselves, don't add too much, don't worry about game plans as much as 
players. So look at your play sheet and think, give it to the guys who Holding play best offense. and don't worry about the rest of it. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes at that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Woods, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. But you look at this defense. This unit, third best in the NFL in stopping the run. Numbers don't tell you everything, but they do paint a pretty good picture. We're talking about two top five units going at each other. One in running the ball, one in stopping the run. I think this is going to be a whole lot of fun myself. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and run for it. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. One play action, Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, what an exciting time here in this great city. Of course, it's no stranger to big-time sports. They've had the NBA team here, but now a relocation franchise in the NFL. And these fans, they could not be more excited for what it's going to mean for this city. It's just going to be a great source of civic pride here. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the gun, here's Fields. Going right back to Wilson. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Second down and three. Now it's Fields. Throwing for the out route, he finds Wilson. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. A play fake, now Fields to throw. And to find the open man, that's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second rushing touchdown on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And the lead grows to 10 0. So an early 10 0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. Now early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. The throw over the middle, taken in. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he's going to take this one down to about the 46-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. 
They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Ooh, the juke. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. On second down, here's Fields. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Play action. It's Fields. And that will be incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. They snap it to Fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he goes out right around the 39. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off for the first down. Oklahoma City has the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. And they'll run on the inside handoff. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Might have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Off play action, Fields. Man open is Robinson. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Fields. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Fields. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Suck up now, set to kick it off, following the main field goal. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. They'll start the drive with Harris. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Second and 10. Now Allen. He's got to complete to Stephon Diggs. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. 
This now a third and four. Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this returnable for Hines. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that the means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, Fields. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Harris running straight ahead. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. On play action, Allen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Josh Allen with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Bulls have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 13 to seven. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, go, stay right. aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Meanwhile, Fields throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. On first down, it's Fields. This is caught. It's Woods. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now a first down throw. Fields. It's caught. Smith. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Fields. Goes right back to Smith again. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Fields throwing again. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Harris starts to drive on the ground. 
And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They run again with Harris. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they need, and now they're looking at a third and five. Now Allen. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Fields now to throw. He completes it to Wilson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. On first and 10, here's Fields. And Woods has it complete. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Here's Fields now on second down. He's got Smith here. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it brings up third and five now. Again, Fields. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. A play fake, now Fields to throw. They'll roll him out right. And it's caught. Touchdown. Elijah Higgins, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point put through by Sucka. And the lead now stands at 13. Ryan suck up on after the touchdown to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. First catch there for Hill, and he's got a first down. Here's Allen. Flushed out right. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing now is Allen. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Throwing on first down is Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. 
four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now Allen again. That'll be complete to Cook. They'll get it inside the 20. And all the way in for the touchdown. James Cook, 30 yards. And the Bulls get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead will shrink to six. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Fields. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Back to throw, Fields. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown in their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Eluding the pressure right. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Allen now on first down. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Allen now on third and goal. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield with man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. The kick by Bass is good. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. And we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, 
How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They'll try the right side with Harris. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. In motion, Hill. Allen will try again on second down. And his throw is incomplete. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number. Not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. Hines now on the return. 35 yards that time on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. On first down, Fields. This one caught downfield by Higgins. And did he get in? No! They'll mark him out at the one yard line. A big play there. 48 yards. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Thunderbirds are able to stretch out their lead. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Here's Allen to throw it. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now Allen. That is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Quick throw here by Allen complete. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll make it second down. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't 
get it to him. It's incomplete. How about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And he missed it. It's no good. And they will not cut into that 10 point lead. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. Well, they tried the field goal from just inside at 70 yards. It missed. And now this offense set up nicely in midfield. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And touchdown. are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point put through by Sucka, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now it's Ryan Sucka on after the touchdown to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's Memphis to once again go on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Here's second and ten. On the give, this is Harris. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw, it's Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. On first down, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Allen. And Diggs has it. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They hand this off to Harris. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but... And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bulls get a bit closer. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. He'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
On third down, they'll try to run for it on the draw. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 131 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. But now he appears to be in some pain. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And he'll be tackled at the 45, following a gain of just two. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. And they'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Off play action, Fields. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. A play fake, now Fields to throw. And he is going to be taken down. Now that should be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here on this Thursday night. Welcome back, everybody, to Oklahoma City as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. Here's Fields now on second down. He's got a rifle on deep left side. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Tredavious White with a pick. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Allen now looks to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown. Quentin Morris, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bulls have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One-score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. I said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? <laughs> so when you do throw the football, High percentage, but throw with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. Fields throw caught by Higgins. And a pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, and he's got a first down. On play action, Fields. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Now 
a second and ten. Fields now to throw. And he comes back with one complete. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he is tackled inside the 49 point to the 35. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. Flush to his right. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Play action. It's Fields. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Poyer. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked up by Cam Smith, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. First and ten, it's Robinson. And shedding the tackle, and that's some room. And they'll get this down to the ten. And quickly, they get to the line. Back to Robinson now on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Fields. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Third and three. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. Here's Fields. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. In his own end zone, it's Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down to throw from his end zone. Allen, I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the fans should be applauding this defense right now. It's an excellent job. They force a three and out, and they should be able to set up their guys with great field position, probably near midfield or better. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And he's able to get it out of there. And they'll get to this and down it inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Allen's throw is complete, and he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Throwing now is Allen. And he is going to be wrapped up and swung to the turf. Julian O'Clara showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. 
And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Allen from the gun on third down. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fielded at about the 28. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The OKC offense ready to set up shop again. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game, and you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, here's Fields. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Fields on first down. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Fields. And his throw here is incomplete. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. Throw left side complete. That's Hines. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it with Robinson. So off the tackle, and that effort gets him to first before he's brought down. To throw his fields. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now fields. Flushed out right. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ballgame. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Robinson's got it. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And they'll come up second and seven. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now Fields. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a first down here. And that should be the one that seals a victory. Robinson. Touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. 
Josh Allen in the offense now. Down by 10. A minute 47 on the clock. Their perfect start to the season in serious peril as they come up on first and 10. Meanwhile, this one knocked down in the backfield. It's incomplete. Passing lanes tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies. It's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. Now Allen. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Here we go. This is fourth down. Throwing Allen. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Well, they need to score and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and 10. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. To throw is Allen. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. And oh, it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take an A. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And they cannot do anything to stop the clock defensively. Three straight wins to start the campaign now. And this is where a team privately within the confines of their own room, their meeting rooms, the locker room, they start to think to themselves, we're pretty good. We should be a playoff team. 